Okay guys, so Jenna Marble is quitting YouTube, possibly forever or just for now or in the meantime guys. And it is breaking news, everybody's talking about it. So yeah, I'm going to just give my two pence on it. So keep watching, stay tuned, like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to another video so as you may or may not be aware jenna marbles is quitting youtube if you don't know who she is she is an og when i say og she is an og youtuber she first joined youtube around 2006 um and then she had like a separate name then she came back um around 2000 2010 um with her current channel now and i think she's like the mo one of the most pa highest paid youtuber she's got over 20 million subscribers so she is a big deal she's an actress she used to do skits um she's kind of like a youtube personality she has received a lot of backlash for videos that she used to do around 2011 which were deemed racial not good whatsoever she's just done a video Video, like an apology vi video um, where she kind of just explained everything you know basically just the general apologies that everybody has been doing that all of their old tweets and old persons have been exposed to um, and yeah it's quite sad I watched the whole video and I just want to say when I was watching the, the video I actually felt like I was gonna cry um, now as a black woman I found I found these skits very offensive um, and even to other races just the racial um, connotations on her skits um, that she made I just found it to be quite disgusting to be honest and just to add and pose a question, I suppose, if the Black Lives Matter movement hadn't been such a power force in today's climate and something that is highly spoken of, would half of these people would even be doing these apologies? You know, if people hadn't been exposed due to what is going on and what is trending, quote unquote, would people be making these videos you know that's that's a question that i would like to ask now i know a lot of people saying that oh this was 2011 this was how many years ago but if you were not in that position where um it affected you or where you are in that demographic of people who um have been attacked racially then it's kind of hard for you to understand and easy for you to say it was this how many years ago kind of get over it and i really do feel like people are really um reflecting this get over it kind of message non-verbally which in itself is really really frustrating however i will say that <laughs> i feel like 2020 is just the year of exposing you know and we are still going to see people being exposed we do need to just forgive um but we also do need to, to these people to be held accountable and we do need these people to speak out and say do you know what i acknowledge what i did and it was definitely wrong you know she kept saying i don't want to offend anybody i don't want to offend anybody and i was just kind of thinking to myself was you not thinking that back then because it was definitely offensive but the funny thing is that she was getting her views and her subscribers were shooting up because of people obviously quite enjoyed it and quite find it and found it quite funny which is interesting which means that maybe this is how this is the mind of the population they just find this kind of thing funny again if you're not in that demographic of people then you will not find anything wrong with it we are still the ones that have to explain to our black kids or our bame category of people we are the ones that have to explain to our kids why we are being treated differently because it's going because it's something that is like a ripple effect you know it will keep going it will keep going unless we really address it um i don't condone hate i don't condone you know people that want to condemn people um i feel like once people kind of acknowledge it and they either hold themselves accountable to it i think the cancer culture or the hate culture you know sending people death threats and all that stuff you know it's just not necessary and it just needs to stop she is definitely um a loved person you know you can tell obviously by her following that people appreciate her people love her and you know i've got to the point where i'm just even tired of being angry anymore whenever i see these things come up i'm literally just like oh yeah here goes another one and um, but you know these people are still going to you know reach to their success 
I wish I wish them all the best to but it just kind of gets to a point where it's like okay are you are you as her followings um are you holding yourselves accountable like are you actually realizing the damage and the impact people are like oh this has happened so many years ago but you have to remember that there is a time and a season for everything even though it happened so many years ago what you sow is what you reap whatever you put in is what you are going to get out so whether it happens today tomorrow or 10 or 15 years later it's still going to happen and when it does happen you do need to be um ready to hold yourself accountable do i think she needs to be quitting youtube i don't think she should quit youtube she's obviously made her living and success out of it um maybe she just needs to take time you can clearly see that the girl is broken in her video you can clearly see that she has had backlash um and you know we don't we're not here asking for people to end their lives or we're not here asking for people to um just to disappear off the face of the earth we're just asking people just to hold up your hands and hold yourself accountable what is done is done and that's that's the, just the reality of it you know <clears throat> it's done it's happened and we just need to learn from it we need to learn from it it's so important we need to learn from it we need to educate ourselves and as much as you are feeling her pain you also need to feel the pain of the people that actually had to face this somebody who's got such a massive following for you to do these skits that is very offensive and very racial the double-edged sword is on both sides you know the double-edged sword is on both sides but let me know what your thoughts are um comment below and yeah let's just keep having the discussions thank you so much for watching please do like comment and subscribe bye